Madman Nation, S Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka The Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden NFL 12 football. Kick it off with a bang, show number 128. Uh, I got a new chair, actually, I got a new chair the other past couple days, and it's pretty comfy. It's, uh, it's an executive easy chair, it's pretty nice. Um, still working it in, it's getting it all kind of figured out, put my feet up in the Mad Den. Um, Tough loss last night. I don't know if you watch Twim. Uh, every Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, we have a This Week in Madden live show. I mean, it's not the Mad Den, but it's kind of similar in terms of tips and all that kind of stuff. We play the Game of the Week, all that good stuff. But um, played King Jason last night. Um, it's at King Jason. I think I just put King Jason there, but um, on Twitter, he is uh, he's at King underscore Jason2. Um, let me, I should correct that so that if you want to follow him, uh, if you want to follow him, you should follow him. Um, let me correct that. It's at King Jason, at King underscore Jason2. King Jason is, uh, Interesting story, backhand story about King Jason. He is a, he played football with my brother in college, which is crazy, right? You know, you would never think that, you know, you're on the internet and you're meeting all these people, talking and chatting about Madden, and then you come to find out he played football with my older brother. So that's small world in itself. He found out he lived in the area, so um, he ponied up, he saddled up, and he came on national live internet, and he came and he slayed me in my own house. Uh, I know Z Files wasn't happy about it, but uh, much respect to King Jason. Quick background on that, though. Um, he ran the ball very effectively on me, and he, where he where he got me where I was uncomfortable was I was never really in a comfortable situation to bring pressure, bring a blitz. Um, he did a lot of uh, two man, excuse me, a lot of seven man uh, blocking protection schemes. So he blocked the tight end or fullback, and on three guys going routes, which um, that kind of hurt me. I just, I, I didn't feel in sync, I didn't have a custom playbook, I was using the Patriots, I hadn't put, played with them in a while, I've been usually playing with the Raiders in my custom playbook in the Virgin Gaming Tournament, um, but he, he got me, he got me, and uh, a lot of respect to Jason for that. Um, he came in the hot seat, and he played a great game, and he got the job done. Uh, that's the second week in a row I faced the Ravens, so this is a reoccurring theme here, it looks like a lot of people are really liking the Ravens, um, but today... We're going to stop talking about Twim last night today. It's show 128. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching. Appreciate that. Um, have a lot of fun doing this as always. It's a, it's a new new style that we're, we've been doing. Um, I, before, I was just kind of taking the camera and filming and then cutting. It just didn't feel, didn't feel, didn't feel right. It just didn't feel good. So we're going to keep the zoomy zoom going. We're going to see how that works out. I, I like it a little bit better, a little more flow. Gives me uh, some more room to just kind of ramble as I like to do and just kind of go rogue, which you should never do when you're playing Madden. Never go rogue. Don't ever pick a play just to pick a play. Stick to your scheme, but that's besides the point. So let's actually talk about what today's show is about, um, which is the part part four of the five sets for success on offense. Today is about um, how to beat zone coverage. And the way we beat zone coverage in Madden NFL 12 is by utilizing um, trips, uh, trips formation or a bunch formation. But you can also use snubs. We're going to show you like a tight compressed formation, four vertical attack. We're going to show you three different ways that we can attack a zone coverage um, in this year's game. So um, again, it's a trips formation, and, and why you want three receivers or maybe two receivers in a tight end is because you need three specific routes. You need one vertical route, you need one flat route, and then you need some type of corner route. Whether it's it could be just a, a slant out, it could be a, a deep corner, or it could be like a dig. Uh, which is a deep out. Um, so there's a lot of different combinations you can use to beat it. Probably the best is the, the deep streak, uh, the flat, and then the deep corner. That just develops the quickest. Um, and then we can also attack again from like a normal set, like a compressed set or tight set. I shouldn't say normal, but it, you would attack it with a four vertical scheme. So you send one to the corner, one another corner, and then two up the slot, and um, you're, you flood the defense deep. But that's a different whole different uh, process, but we'll get into that. Um, but uh, for right now, let's get our zoomy zoom on. Let's hop into the game. Here we have it. Boom. Zoomy zoom time. 
and boom. That was painless. It's not that bad. It's a lot better than it was last year, I think, huh? So, here we have Cam Newton Juice and Super Cam, and we have the Green Bay Packers defense. So let's give the Packers, we'll have them play a nickel, just for now, nickel, uh, two, four, five, cover tray, and on offense, let's come out in a single back bunch formation. Now, let's talk about a play we, we want to take a look at here. So if we take a look at, we see um, the X play, the Z spot. What we're looking for is a combination of something. We have a deep corner and we have a flat route. And so we also have a B receiver, who, which is called a spot route, which what he do is he's, he faces up to the quarterback, kind of runs up the other routes, uh, run through, and then he spots up against the, the defense. Now, that's a good route, great route. Uh, but what we want to do against zone, we want to take that route, that B route, to flood the defense. Let me just run the play once, and we'll show you what it, what it looks like. So here it is. Now, that did a great job. It did a great job attacking the zone, and, and we like that, right? Now, let's go into an instant replay and let's show you what we want here. Now, there's nothing wrong with, with this play, what, what just happened here. Now, as you can see, we open up the corner routes defended, the flat routes defended, and, and what I don't necessarily love about this way of attacking a zone is that that spot receiver, he has a defender right on top of him. And if that, I mean, I just don't feel comfortable. I mean, that's a, that's a hit stick. Bang. I mean, does he fumble? If you were watching a live stream a couple, uh, couple days ago, AJ Hawk, he got just lit up by Terrell Pryor. I don't even, I don't even know what to say about it. Um, I had about like an 80-yard touchdown run with Terrell Pryor. Stuff got crazy. But um, here it is again. As you can see, the flat defender goes to the flat uh, flat receiver. The deep cor uh, the, the deep corner route is covered by that deep zone, and then we see the the spot route opens up, and that's good and great, and it's very effective. Uh, but the problem is, we don't like how each one of those matchups. We don't like how we didn't have a, a clearly wide open guy. So to really attack the zone, we just take Smith instead of having him on that spot route. We place him on a streak. Now let's show you what happens. The difference here. Watch that deep corner route. Bang! Wide open, and that controller is vibrating. Like a mother, I don't even know. That was that might have been the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. Sorry about that. Uh, but let's go back in an instant replay. And let's show you what that looked like against the zone. So here it is this time. So remember before, so that flat route's actually a little bit more open there, and that's probably because the streak, the streak threw him off. But again, let's take a look at that. Look at that wide open corner route, and and again, it's just flooding the defense. And because uh, a cover three doesn't have a, a deep corner assigned to it, so there you have it. That deep corner gets flooded. This is, in my opinion, the best way to attack a zone, uh, a zone defense in Madden 12. So let me show you again. Another couple combinations you could do here. So I would want Smith again on that um, the deep streak. You could take Lene and you could put him on a smart uh, an out route and then smart route it. And this is for a play if it doesn't have like a corner route, but it has like a, it has a flat route. So here, for example, it'll open up. It just takes a little bit longer, but it still opens up. It's still that same idea. Um, another option. It doesn't work as well this year because the slant doesn't get as much depth. But here you have it, just a, a slant out to the sideline will should open up. As you can see, it doesn't. It didn't get as much depth. Didn't get as open. You don't feel as comfortable making that throw. But uh, we'll show you again here. Still opens up. Still pretty effective. But uh, you feel a little bit more comfortable with that deep corner route. Uh, so that's one way you can attack zone coverage. Again, that's a flooding concept. You throw. We've talked about this for years. I mean, that's been a staple of the way we play Madden. Is uh, when we face zone, we flood the zone with a route combination of a flat, a corner, and a streak. It's been a staple of our of our uh, of our tips for for as long as we've been around. So um, let's go and show you another way we can attack a zone uh, from a different formation. So it doesn't have to be a bunch. Okay, it doesn't have to be a bunch formation. It can be a trips formation, but again, the same rules apply. Um, let's take a look at what do we got here? Um, let's see, flat route. I need a flat route. Um, we can use the PAFL corner. Let's let's use that. So here it is again. Um, so what we're seeing here again, we have a flat route. The flat route's really the key. That's that's what makes the whole combination of the flooding work. So here's what we'll do. Here is we'll send Smith deep again. In Lene, we could put him on a slant out, but I don't think in this situation it'll work effectively. Let's just try it though. Here it is in the slant out that that route opened up, and the slant it did actually. It actually worked. Um, see, I, I, I'm afraid of the slant route, and that's because of the depth of the flat route defender. So as you can see here, look. I mean, 
the flat defender is pretty close to that. And if I've got a bad throw, I mean, he's really close to that ball to make a play on that ball. So that's that's something I, I don't like to do. But, again, a better combination I would do in this situation is I'd put him on an out route and I would smart route it. And then, uh, and then you have this combination again here. So the flat goes there and then, bang, he sits in that open area in the field and attacks that area in the field. So that's another way you can attack a zone. Uh, let's show you another area here we can attack. And let's see, snugs. And this is what we call as a four vertical uh, passing scheme. So here we have it again, cover three. Cover three is what the most used zone you're going to see. And what we did against this bench play is we had two quick out routes and then two deep corners. Again, we want to attack the zone deep, so we're sending four routes deep. And if you look at the defense, they only have three defenders deep. So what we do is we streak those two out routes to send four guys deep at three guys defending deep. And as you can see, it just opens up. You go, click on, make a play. The defense can't defend all four options. Uh, they're, they're, the defenders deep are going to be torn on who to defend. Do they defend the streaks to the inside or do they defend the corners to the outside? And it's a, it's a dilemma for them. As you can see, both of those corner routes started opening up. Um, we actually had that seam route right here that was opening up as well. Um, so that was a very nice play. Um, Let's show, you, let's show you another way you can attack it. Like a spread formation is a very nice way to attack a zone defense. Or not even, it doesn't even have to be spread. Uh, we actually talked about this last night in TWIM. If you take a look at a, a, a shotgun or a single back normal formation, let's just take a look at this here. Curl flats, one of the best type of route combinations in the game. So say, you, okay, so you recognize a cover three, and you recognize that cover three because at that start of the play, the safety came here and then he stood up on top of the field. So that's how you know it's, a, it's either man-to-man -man cover one or it's a cover three. Uh, but you want to take a look at the outside the defensive backs, and you see how that defensive back is facing the quarterback. We know now it's a zone. Um, another way you can figure out if it's zone or not, well, we could say that for another day, but if you use motion, as you see by Motion Smith, and no defender follows him, um, let's motion him back, and I'll just change it to man-to-man -to -man real quick. Change it to man-to-man. -to -man. Now if I motion Smith over, as you can see, that defender follows him. So that's a quick way. I mean, it's a very simple way to find out if it's man-to-man -man or not. But again... Here's the cover three. Uh, what you can do to play against the cover three is, as you can see, I streak this slot defender. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for uh, this flat defender. If he vacates to the area and lets Smith clear through, I should have a passing lane to throw to Smith. As you can see here, he bumps him, he bumps him, he bumps him. I let him get behind that depth. It was a bad throw, interception. Um, but the idea is you can hit that seam. And you can do it with the tight end as well on this side of the field too. So you could hit the safety with that seam route. Let's just move the defensive back in a little bit. Let's move him in so he doesn't so he doesn't bump our receiver just so we can show you. So here is again, Smith, bang, hit that seam. You gotta have a guy that's got good catching traffic. You're gonna want height uh, at this position because it's important to have um, that height that you can hit. And also, see height would have helped there as well, as well as more catching traffic because he had a big hit there as well. Um, so that's really that's the best way to attack a cover three, cover two. Um, again, if you send three routes deep, you'll you'll beat the cover two. Um, cover four, I think, is something that gives people a lot of fits. But let's take a look at how we can beat a cover four. Cover four, we're going to go right back to that curl flat combo. Uh, let's find a cover four. Here's a cover four. Now, cover four, the way you want to attack a cover four is you want to stretch it deep and also look to the flats here. As you can see, flats, bang. You get, I mean, it's it's a... Short gain, it's only four yards, but the idea is that's what the defense is giving you. The defense is saying, you can pass the flat, but we're not going to, I mean, there you go, you fall forward that time, and I almost picked up almost 10 yards. But the cover four is weak in the flat, and that's where we want to attack it. Again, flat, 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 just keep hitting the flat, uh, and that's where the defense is weak in the cover four. Um, you're going to be hard-pressed to find anything deep. Um, when If you use... Um, let me, well, let's show you, actually, hold on. If you use the trips, the bunch style where you attack the defense four different spots, like so, find that cover four again. So if you attack the defense here with the flooding technique, you'll see this, watch here. The flat gets opened up um, instead of the corner. It's just a different, it's the defense is set up differently, and the defense is set up to stop that corner route and not that flat route. So it's giving us the flat route instead of the corner route. So that route combination will beat 
the zone. No, it doesn't matter what the zone is. You just have to be ready that if the flat's open, flat's open, deliver the ball to the guy in the flat. Don't wait on it because if you wait on it, bad things can happen. I'll show you. I'll wait on this one, and I bet you the defender might actually make a play on the ball. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to deliver it now. I mean, that was a bad throw, but let's try that again. You wait on it, you wait on it, you wait on it, you wait on it, and then you deliver the ball there, and now the defender is closer to make a play. So if you see the flats open, take the flat, take the flat, take the flat. Um, that's That should be your bread and butter is to take the flat. Um, you can also attack a cover four um, with the, the, the four vertical technique. So here, let me show you again. The difference when you attack a cover four with the four vertical the technique is the following. You get one-on-one -on -one matchups deep. So you're kind of manning up against the defense. You're going to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup. You're saying, let's ball. You think you can outmatch the defender. So you better make sure that you have your user skills down because you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup, the one that you wanted, but you got to make a play. So as you can see, we click on, go for the user catch, and make a play. You're going to have that, again, one-on-one -on -one matchup. You can live with that. You can live with a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You just got to make sure that you got your user skills down to be able to make the play. So guys, I hope you like this zone, this zone beating uh, formation. Implement it into your scheme today. We're setting you up to become an absolute beast in this game. If you start utilizing what we're showing you here, there's literally no situation that you shouldn't be prepared for. You're going to be able to run the ball. You're going to be able to beat the blitz, score in the red zone. And, um, let, me, let me rephrase that. Run the ball with the power run formation. The defense can't set up against to stop all three options. You're going to be able to beat the blitz, score in the red zone, and complete short yard situations with the quick pass. You're going to be able to beat the man. Uh, you're be able to beat man defense with our man beating like compressed and tight formations. You're going to be able to beat zone with trips bunch, trips formations, and route combos. And then tomorrow we're showing you your base play and your X factor. Your X factor is that two minute offense. That two minute offense you need to rely on. And that base play is that that's the play that makes it all tick, baby. A mini schemes, all that good stuff. So, uh, until next time, fellas, start implementing your offense today. Remember, it is the Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden NFL 12 football. Whole lot of you and only a little bit of me. We are changing this Madden community, this one right here that we're all in today, one snap at a time.